You all saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... Aye, I do. And I've a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. Well, we've seen that they forged the Sword of Light together, but that doesn't tell us what happened with Erdwin's lantern. We need another seedling, laddie. That? That was one well-dressed whale. Cetacea looked very tough all of a sudden, didn't she? Could dressing her up like that be the key to getting through to where Kalasmos is? I suspect it might. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. First, we need to see what the next seedling has to show us.
That was Cetacea we saw, wasn't it? Flying toward the Dark Star. I suppose that means she really was the key to breaking through to the Dark One. But what exactly do we need to do to dress her up like the old heroes did? In another pickle, are we? Huh? 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 Where did you spring from? If you're looking to give Cetacea a little more oomph, you'll be needing the help of the sage, Serenica. But to do that, you'll need to find her, of course, which will require another memory. Another one? But we've visited all the seedlings. Come a little closer, would you, Veronica, dear? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Huh? Hmm. Yes. You're not quite as you should be, are you? Wh why does that matter? Here. Pop this on for me. Sister, over here, will you? As I'm sure you're well aware, your destiny is to guide the luminary. When the two of you get together and pray with all your hearts, well, then miracles can happen. But this wasn't possible with Veronica in her reduced state. Who are you? Who are you really? Now, are you ready to fulfill your destinies? I'll need you to pray like you've never prayed before. Can you do that for me? Hmm. What could this mean? Uh, I think it means they've turned into a tree? Come closer, Luminary. The tree has something to show you. Wherefore wouldst 
Vau Of all the low down. <sighs> Betrayed by the very man he trusted most. That's how the luminary of legend died? The poor thing. The tree is still blowing, I see. I rather think it might have more to show you. No weapon save the Sword of Light may end the Dark One's life. Cannot be used. No luminary now. Only he may wield. Thus cannot kill, but can imprison. Serenica. Lend me thy powers, that I might bind him and banish him forever! <sighs> Serenica, what doth the future hold for thee? The Sword of Light belongeth with the World Tree. I mean to bear it thence. Thereafter, I shall venture forth upon a quest. I shall seek him out. I shall find him. Erdwin, my love, I will be reunited with thee. I swear it. Would that I might 
might have seen my face but once more before I passed. That's so sad. So Erdwin's lantern was no star, nor was it the luminary's final resting place. You've done as you were meant to do, girls. You've given the luminary the guidance he needed. We saw it too. We saw what happened to Serenica. What she became. She's still there, you know. Up in that tower. And she still holds the key to defeating the Dark One. How come you know about all this stuff, anyhow? Didn't it all happen centuries ago? How indeed, my inquisitive young friend. Perhaps I had better show you. Huh? What? You? Yes, me, Morkant, Erdwin's erstwhile companion. There was a voice, you see. A voice inside my head. As Erdwin raised his sword to smite the Dark One, it spoke to me. Strike him down, it said. Kill him, and I will grant you power beyond your wildest dreams. I tried to close my heart to those intoxicating words, but before I knew what was happening, my friend lay at my feet. The Dark One's power filled me, corrupted me, poisoned my mind. I became Mordigan. But even then, a part of me held out against the darkness. In time, it took on its own form, and that is who stands before you now. Now Mordekin is defeated, and so I too must fade. But I have one last prophecy for you before I go. The Timekeeper awaits you, Luminary, in a place north of the World Tree. The power of the Watchers will take you there. Now, go and give the Dark One our hiding, and bring this story to an end at last. There he goes. I guess we'd better get moving, huh? Sounds like we need to go see the Watchers.
your new Mary. Feelings found, guidance granted. This scent, old scent, familiar. Elder, scent of Morkant. Well, Suspected, but did not know. Morkant's sorcery was great. Greatest, perhaps. But his heart, torn. Never satisfied. Always craving more. More power. Too much. Now you go. To meet with Serenica. Gift for you. So this will get us into Serenica's tower, will it? Thank you very much, Elder Eagle Tap. Send regards to Serenica. Eagle Taps. Regards. That's grand. Let's go and meet Serenica, shall we? Come on, laddie. We've a date with destiny.
Serenica. Serenica? This is not a name I know. State your purpose here. The Dark One has returned, and, well, we need you to give us the power to save the world. Save the world. Do you remember this, Serenica? This was your flute. I... I know it. But from where? The memory is faint, but... Yes! It is there. And yet, the flute I remember was... Different, mightier. It can play but one melody, but it is a great one, a sacred one, a song. Awakening, a song handed down through the years. I think we know that song, Veronica. Mm -hmm. Rejoice, rejoice, the time is come. Arise. Awaken, Holy One! We offer unto you the skies. Fly free once more! Arise! Arise! Since the time of Erdwin, 
Since the last great clash with Kalasmos. <gasps> she... she spoke to us. Shh. I think she's trying to tell us something. But know this. The Dark One is powerful beyond imagining. A trial awaits you. Beneath once mighty Tzvart's rust. A means to test thy mettle ere the final fight begins. Go to him. Go to Drusten. And when the time comes, when you would pierce the wall that guards him, I stand ready to serve thee. Practice scrap or two before the main event sounds like just what we need. I reckon we could do worse than pay Svard's rust a visit. He's right. This is one battle we can't be too prepared for. Let's go get fighting fit before we take him down. <laughs>